Well, we'll be on our way then, won't we, Kirby? Also, that was not a skyscraper. It was part of the drill of the central... of what I suppose is the mothership. Wow! The Waddle Dees really have already moved in into this city, haven't they? Yeah, we do have Capsule J2. Another Kirby's Dreamland 3 enemy! It's a good thing that Waddle Dee stopped for that pedestrian. Yeah, these are... are these the ones who are called Gabbins? Yeah, I think I'm getting a little confused here. These guys are called Gabbins, and the dragons are called Galbos. Gabon was also in the uh, Kirby uh, anime, is the um, monster in the Haunted House episode. Which I must say was a pretty disappointing um, conclusion to that episode. Yeah, they really have modernized Popstar. In the anime, I remember there being a lot of talk about making Popstar into a modern country. That, uh, or Dreamland into a modern country, I mean, and of course, it never came nearly to fruition. Here, however, it would appear that, um, it's actually happening. Weird. What was the point of going in the background there again? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's Grizzo. There must have been something in the background there, they wouldn't have let us do that, but it looks like I squandered my opportunity, whatever it was that was there. I probably already missed a code cube. I suppose this means the a that these aliens are the ones who built, um, uh, Capsule J and Capsule J2. Does that mean, then, that, um... Is there anything down here? Any anything, guys? And no, there's nothing down there! However, the fact... Can we just do this indefinitely? I don't remember. Yeah, we can. Is there anything down here? Nope, nothing down there. Let's stop even messing with it. I have to admit, they have done a good job building a metropolis. They brought on the uh, modernity that King DDD promised and never delivered. But... At what cost? At what cost? That's the question. If they actually went into that, which of course they won't, because this is just a simple platformer, this game would, uh, end up being a lot like Mother 3. I really do get certain Mother 3 vibes from this, um, the sort of, uh... Oh, neat! Wait, did we just take out a... was that a foley or a propeller? I think it was a foley. Oh, we can only propel upwards for so long, huh? Now then, how do we get that treasure chest there? Looks like there's a central... oh, here we go. Oh, I just need to go back there and go get it. How hard could that be, huh? Couldn't be that hard. I was hoping there'd be a way to get to it down here. There wasn't, although we did make a, uh, you know, flower bloom. Oh, here's how we went up. I was wondering why he wasn't doing this, and it was because I had forgotten about the button I needed to press, and was pressing the wrong one. They can throw whatever they want at us. It's not going to do much good. It's not going to do them much good anyway. Uh, we have to give up our armor to climb down the ladder. That's what you get in these narrow city streets. In the mean streets, uh, whatever, whatever this place is called. I for already forgot what it's called. I, I apologize. Take it. We got the code cube. Well, see you around, Robobot Armor. See you around. Oh, we done yet? We're done? We're done? We're... No, we're, we're not done yet. All right. I'm gonna go with Bomb. I feel like it'll be helpful, because Kirby's going to be a gorilla uh, who's fighting the um, uh, uh, oppressive government, and he's going to be a terrorist. Who, who is it? Telepathos? This is a new one! Must be, uh, one of the I invader's buddies.
Yeah, must be. Telepathos, friend. What do you got going here, friend? All right, nothing much he's got is what he's got going. Okay, you know what? Forget this. Telepathos. Goodbye, Telepathos. Telepathos. Can we get anything from this? Yeah, we can get spark from your projectiles. Can we do anything with the spark ability other than just that? I don't think so. In any case, we bet we beat Telepathos. And also notice the more techno-y remix of the mid-boss music. They really went all out with this one. Even if it's largely reusing graphics from previous titles. What have we got here? ESP, huh? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, is this the... This psychokinetic ability allows you to turn invisible and produce shocking electric fields, just like a certain boy with PSI. This field of science is still largely unexplored. Are these matter-of-fact descriptions supposed to be somehow uh, in a database that Kirby is accessing using the invader's technology? Because the game clearly takes a sort of ambivalent stance towards the invader's technology, because on the one hand it does have these beneficial effects, but on the other hand, it's perhaps quite literally draining the life out of the planet. In any case, it's already a more subtle commentary than Final Fantasy VII has, and we haven't have, even had any spoken dialogue yet. Yep! It's PSI! It's... It's PSI! This is like the, the Mother Games! Of course, the Mother Games can't possibly take place in the same continuity as Kirby, because Kirby takes place in the continuity of Metroid, which, given Mother 3, certainly cannot be the same continuity as Mother, but... Cool. Cool. Alright. Yeah? Alright. Do we have PK Fire? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to do a bit of level grinding to get to that, won't we? PK Spark! Cross the road! Get to the other side! Do you get a sticker on the other side? Man, these people do not stop for pedestrians. They're a bunch of crazy drivers. Even these streets, though, are patrolled by the military Waddle Dee forces of the invaders. Hmm. Kirby's gonna terrorize this city. This city is clearly ready for war again. What is that? It's a it's a psychic. He looks kind of like Magoo from uh, KDL3. I also will note that it appeared to be of the invader's species, which I believe, by the way, are called um halt workers. I believe that's what they're called. Which is, well, not really the name of the species, obviously, but presumably of their, say, titles or something. What do we got here? Music is so cool! It sounds like something you get on a neat old NES game. Almost. I understand it's not quite that same. Okay, yeah. The, uh... The henchmen we find are called Halt Workers. Although each type of them have a specific title that I don't know right now. Oh, I see. There we go. I'll take your code cube, thank you very much. Wonder who lives in these buildings? Are they apartments? You know, I've come to love my apartment now that I've lived here for a little while. The previous person here, I'm not gonna say their name, but based on the uh, mail that seems to have, um, I've, you know, gotten that... I wouldn't say it's addressed to them, but it, well, I mean, it is, but it's like, I've gotten a mail, for example, that was notifying whoever lived here that they registered for a, um, a, a, you know, had to have their mail sent somewhere different. I will say, though, about whoever used to live in this apartment, they had a very unfortunate thing about them. You see, their given name apparently was gay. They, they, their given name was just gay. It was not like Gaylord or something that was a name. It was just gay. That was their name. Poor person. Whoever they were. Well, I mean, I know who they were because I have, you know, their names, but... I never knew them, though. In any case, I do feel a great connection to this, this apartment now that they fixed my keys so that I can actually open my mailbox. 
Also, I want to get that item down there. No, no, no! Well, it takes one psychic to fight another. Also, it looks like to get down there, we have to, um, have Robobot armor. Where do we get it? Where, where do we get the Robobot armor? Where is it? The Robobot armor at? Where did they put it? Where, where, where was it? Was it here? Is, was it over here? Did I just miss it? Is it, is it hidden here? Is it hidden somewhere in this town where the buildings are shaped like cartons of milk? Uh... Suppose not. Did I just miss something earlier? I mean, I must have. Where else would it be? I don't know. In any case, I'm already enjoying... See, thank you for stopping. That guy was actually at some kind of class, some kind of attack. In any case, uh... I'm already preferring the Robobot armor mechanic to the, um, uh... Hypernova ability that we got in, uh... Uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. I'm not doing very well, am I? Kirby... Kirby isn't used to living in the big city. He's not used to fighting, to wrestling cars, to grappling with the cars trying to cross the streets. Now, when I go out, when I cross the street, um, you know, a lot of pedestrians need to be careful that they don't get hit, but me, those cars need to be careful that they don't get hit by a mackerel phones. That's based on something a friend of mine in middle school said once. One of the cleverest things he ever said, and he said some clever things. No stickers! Oh well. A Rick Block. Oh, that one's from Kirby Star Stacker. Also one of the few Kirby games I never played. I know that there was a Japan-only, uh... Maybe the only Japan-only Kirby game was a sequel to Kirby Super Star... Or to Kirby Star Stacker. It also introduced a character who was a, uh... Well, it was basically about Kirby helping a guy named Mr. Star get his star pieces back after King DDD attacked him. There was a bomber. Bombers are one powerful enemy. They're not marked with a skull for nothing. They're also another one I never quite understood. Are they supposed to be robots? Who knows? In any event, suppose we're going to continue through Resolution Road. Also, oddly, we missed the first code cube there. Strange. Let's look at our stickers. Are we going to get a look at them? We are, we are. Play coins? No, what, what? Oh, I see! This whole grid is gonna be filled up with stickers! No, I see, they give us hints to have an idea of where they are. Wait, what? We can put them on our Robobot armor! Adeline, we love ya. We're never gonna forget about you, Adeline. You are a good friend to Kirby, along with so many other people. Who else are we going to put on there? Let's see. They certainly explain some of the odd kind of aesthetics of these. They're almost like robot tattoos. Of course, a little less permanent. Maybe they're like bumper stickers, which are actually still pretty permanent. It's not easy to get a bumper sticker off. You'd be surprised. As Crack.com once said about bumper stickers, they're like tattoos. They show the whole world how stupid you were a few years ago. Well, I'm not definitely not going to put a fake weight sticker on. That's a, not something I want to be associated with, a fake power-up. Um, I'll put on the... Where's the one that was just Rick? The, yeah. Kirby's doing this for his friends. Let's go. We can't forget about our friends. Wonder if Otto kept in touch with Kirby. Maybe... Maybe she did. Maybe they're pen pals. Though Kirby doesn't strike me as much of a reader. Well, let's continue through this city where... Who knows, maybe Otto is living in this city somewhere. She's uh, studying up as an artist and is going to have a big moral conflict when she finds out that her old friend Kirby is a terrorist opposing the government. Oh! It's a... it's a pill... It's a pi it's a, it's a, it's a pillow again. The pillows are definitely... Um, some kind of, some subset of the, um, uh, uh, halt workers. Oh, we're already on the other side. I was expecting it to just be a new area altogether. Thanks. Thanks for the, for the ice cream. For the, for the, for the, for the ice cream. Oh, well, we'll be on our way then.
We have another Holt worker in um uh, invader armor. In the Robobot armor. I suppose they're called invader armor because it's just an invader. They're not nearly as good at using their own armor as Kirby is. But actually, I guess the armor does change uh, depending on who's in it, so... Perhaps it's just so good when Kirby's in it because it is, after all, Kirby. And Kirby is no normal guy. Though he's uh, definitely is a sympathy for the common man. And is really one of them. What? What? Is this gonna be a scrolling shooter? It is! Neat! Alright. They can throw everything they want at us. This dogfight raging over the city streets. A lot of civilians are gonna have to get hurt, but Kirby at this point understands that that's war for you. And anyway, maybe Kirby is an extremist. He has the attitude, in this war, either you're with me, or you're against me. Either you're with the invaders, or you're an enemy of theirs. We're taking down propellers and waddle these in their mechs. Also, the propellers in this one appear to be robots. Were the propellers in the previous game meant to be robots? They couldn't have been, because in Kirby's Dream Land 3 they hatched out of eggs. There must be some kind of robot form of propeller. Get the- get the cute! And don't get hit- we didn't get hit. Kids, don't follow my example. Don't run out in front of traffic to grab- it's some kind of mega propeller! In any event, it's gone now. It really is a beautiful city they built here. It's a shame that it must be destroyed. We just blow up one of the cars. Of course, Kirby's uh, black and white mentality on view on morality is going to be challenged when he meets Adeline, who, by living peacefully here, is going to make him realize that maybe, maybe there are some decent people in this city. It's not just black and white, it's more complex than that. It's like that in any war, though. War. War never changes. Oh, Poppy Brother. Goodbye, Poppy Brother. We're not gonna miss you. Those Poppy Brothers are already terrorists. The government has hired their own terrorists to terrorize their own populace. And of course, to keep people like Kirby in line. Those who would oppose them. How, how do we get to it? How, how do we... How, how do we get to it? How, how, how do we got to it somehow? How do we get back there? How do we get back there? Get, get, okay, Kirby, get, get it quick. We got the code cube. Kurt, Adeline is going to be horrified when she sees the Kirby is doing this in the news. Hi! It's a tough world out there, Ado. I don't know how much more of this war I can take. I want you to understand that you're my friend, so I won't report you today. But if I see you again, I can't promise anything. I understand, Addo. I understand. Ow. Because she came from off-world. She comes from a, from a modern, developed uh, planet herself, and... She has this view that Popstar was, after all, kind of rural and in need of development, like King Dedede always promised and could never deliver on due to the ineptness and corruption in his government. And now that these outsiders are doing it, although Kirby is one of the few locals who retains the spirit of independence, Oddline is going to think he's backwards, he's behind the times, but they'll both see that they're both wrong, that there is more to the situation than they thought. Hogs, huh? Yeah, this is a scrolling shooter. This is really interesting. It's really interesting that they're having a scrolling shooter segment like this. There we go. Keep shooting, Kirby. We're gonna take down Cogs. A defense robot which I suppose has been erected to defend the city. Is there a pause screen? Yeah, a geared up base made of gigantic Cogs defends this route. Batteries turn along with the gear movement to aim at targets. Unless the base is destroyed, there is no way forward. I see, it's a base. This is actually a building. These invaders do have some impressive um, uh, production values, I suppose. Also, I see now how he blew up that barrier earlier. 
charging up causes a missile to launch out from the backside of the Robobot armor. We've already taken out one of the cannons. We took taken out um, all of them now except the main ones, which rather resemble the main cannons of a halberd, don't they? In the Kirby anime, there's a lot of reason to believe that Meta Knight designed the halberd using off-world technology. Perhaps it was these guys' technology. Whoever these guys are. There we go. Let's keep going. Oh, are you gonna fly into the base? Not quite. The people in this city, some will remember Kirby as a hero. Others will remember him as a monster. But... Who knows, sometimes there might not be that much of a difference. It's a matter of perspective, can be. Alright, let's go here! Ooh, we're gonna get number one this time! I am really into this, this is very exciting! So many stars! And the sticker that I've been waiting for. Tack! The cat burglar! Kirby could put it on the arm of his Robobot armor and to send the message that like cat fights by night, so too will Kirby. There's King DDD! Yup. Wonder how he's doing right now. He's probably become some kind of vassal king to the invaders. That's... he probably knuckled under to him. What else we have? Fluff! Oh, it's rare, is it? Yeah, Fl Prince Fluff! This was Kirby's ally in, uh, Kirby's epic yarn. The prince of a planet made out of yarn. Not to be confused with the planet made of life fibers from Space Patrol Luluko. And there's Masher! I already talked about Masher. I don't need to say anything else about Masher. Although I did like the episodes of the Kirby anime with Masher. I thought they were pretty... I don't know, they're pretty memorable to me. I remember the second one was a Knuckle Joe episode. Alright. And Kirby continues through Resolution Road. Is this the inside of that building that he flew into? Might be. Might be. Pie a pie! It's an oddly ominous opening. I feel like there must be something more to these areas than... than what we've seen if they're going to keep having these kinds of openings. We're going to go do some wheel-related challenges, aren't we? Yes, we are. These people have no respect for Popstar. Even if these people mean well... They've... Also... This is no more Kirby's uh, Return to Dreamland music, given a sort of techno vibe. Anything over here? Anything? Anything over here? Oh uh, yeah, there is stuff back there. There's a sticker back there. Let's go get the sticker. That's what Adeline doesn't understand. I understand where she's coming from, why she would have a sympathy for the modernizers, but they don't care about Popstar really. They only they're in it for only themselves. It's no wonder that somebody like Kirby has it out for them. You know? And not only are they only in it for themselves, but I bet they're not even, uh, sincerely... They don't even care for the well-being of the people of Popstar whatsoever. What are these strange security spheres outside those holograms? I don't know. In any case, one thing's pretty clear to me, and that's that they could stand to invest in some better security guards. These Hult workers aren't always doing so hot. Heck! I mean, they must be not doing so hot if they're turn turning to waddle these for, um, uh, for support in their construction efforts. Though then again, I suppose that the waddle these are, after all, an indigenous workforce. Perhaps it's a part of a ploy to try and endear themselves to the natives. Well, 
be on our way then. We'll be on our way. Who is it? And a cool build up we had there. Miasmaros? Miasmaros, you're somewhat resembling uh, Galboros from that previous game. Only you're, well, poisonous. You're literally made of, like, pollutants. What the heck kind of stuff are these people building in these labs that it would turn out a monster like this? Man, that did that actually hurt Kirby to eat? There's something that Kirby can't eat? This thing really must be vile. Maybe we should eat it. Now we should eat it. Poison! This is one of the abilities advertised on the back of the box. If you'll remember... This is a rather dangerous ability for all life forms, organic and otherwise. It can be used to attack enemies with a corrosive liquid that contains damaging substances. Huh. Are they suggesting that there are life forms that aren't organic? Oh, I see. The invaders must consider robots a form of life, which is only fair if one, I suppose. Robot life is one of those fuzzy areas. Astro Boy really has gotten me thinking about that. Astro Boy does all kinds of interesting stuff with robots, so bravo to Tezuka for that. It's, pre it's pretty sophisticated for a uh, kid series as far as that kind of thing goes. They had a st story, for example, where the uh, genesis of it is that a country has gained enough of a robot population that a robot is able to become president. And um, uh, there is a uh, shady criminal organization that opposes this and wants to uh, put him to death. Spade? Heart? Diamond? Heart, spade, diamond. Heart, right, heart, spade, diamond. Heart, spade, diamond. I need to remember that. So, heart, heart. There's a mini Miasmaros, and you go heart, spade, diamond. Heart, spade, diamond. So next is, um, is spade, and then is, is, is diamond. Next is diamond. This is going to be one of the token uh, qualities of these uh, special levels, isn't it? The heart, the, you know, mem rem remember pattern puzzles. Man, Kirby is spewing out poison. It's only right that he would use their vile pollutants against them. It's a pretty interesting and novel idea, in fact. Now let's uh, go appreciate our code cube and some treats. These aliens at least keep sweet treats around, they have a sweet tooth too! Everybody likes sugar! Sugar and spice! Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's how they made the Powerpuff Girls. Except they accidentally put in a dose of Chemical X. Chemical X. Then in the original series concept it was supposed to be like a, an adult series, and it was uh, originally... It was sugar, spice, everything nice, and a cup of... and a can of whoop-ass is what it was. Oh! Oh, that cannon is, uh, no threat to us anymore. Anything up here? You know what, let's go get that one up before we nose around anymore. Never mind! Alright, what do we got here? Is this... Oh, I guess we're just going to... Oh, I see what we have to do here. Oh, it's clever. It's a clever one, you guys. You did... That was clever. That was a clever one, I'm not gonna deny it. Why would I deny it anyway? I like this game. I don't want. I want to give him credit where it's due. I'm probably even giving him credit where it's not due. In any case, Adeline, where are you today, Adeline? She probably doesn't live in this city, in all likelihood. Maybe, but you know, who knows? We, we who knows how many uh, humans have actually bothered traveling this far out of the mainstream of the Milky Way? Popstar is probably way out in the sticks. What, what else is there? Is there anything else here? Punch! Rock! Punch! Actually, what's it, what is that attack actually called? Release your rage with rocky punches. Earth-shaking rock crusher. In any case, I suppose that uh, Kirby is feeling... Uh, in, it's his rage about the environmental devastation. Rock crusher! All right, I'm gonna remember that one. No, we gotta keep using it, guys. We got—we don't get to keep using it. 
Oh, well, color me a sad mackerel phones. There's so much attention to detail in the background. Oh, it's Capsule J2. Oh, this is a cor this is stuff as corrosive even to a robot. Even to a robot. No, 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 no. We want to keep the the poison using the poison against the industrialists. We gotta we gotta fight for the people. Kirby fights for the people against the evil capitalists. This is communist. This is communist adventure. This is communists. Kirby's communism in Dreamland. Not really. There's not really any talk of the proletariat. Nor has there been in any of the other times the Kirby series has had the evil factories. Those haunting, abandoned, industrial, empty landscapes from Kirby Canvas Curse really have stuck with me over the years. Maybe it's just because I hadn't seen that kind of stuff up to that point. Who knows? Of course that's the... I really... It's just... I can't get over this. It's so freaky to me the way they... they they've turned everything into... Into cyborgs. I mean, it's pretty horrifying when you get down to it, and it really is as scary as in Mother 3. Heck, Kirby even has PSI in this one. It's Kirby meets Mother 3. It will never be on the same level of Mother 3, of course, it's... But... I really am enjoying this. This is really interesting. I just hope that it ends up actually being interesting. We got another Meta Knight Metal Ash yeah, sure, here. Yeah. And Hydra! That was one of the legendary air ride machines from Kirby's Air Ride. Which have never come back since and never been mentioned since until right now. And the number four. Knight. We're a knight in shining armor. Maybe Meta Knight has his own Robobot armor, and we're gonna see it later. I bet you that he's not idle while all this is going on. He strikes me as the kind of guy who would fight this sort of thing tooth and nail. Or... Wing and... Galaxia, as the case may be. Let's, 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 let's put on some different stickers. We need to go for some different stickers about now. Let's see here. So, uh, we, let's see, we could, uh... Hey, what do you want to do here? Oh, yes, we could, uh, we, we, we could take any of these stickers, we put on any of them, but I know what sticker I'm going for, I'm gonna, you know what, even if he is just a doofus, I, actually, no, Kirk King Deity probably is being a retainer to the bad guys, we don't want his face on there, what we do want on there is, is Masher, you know why, because Masher is tough, because Masher is one tough guy, and we're gonna be as tough as Masher, we're gonna be the new Masher, just as Masher once struck terror into the hearts of the enemies of the Holy Nightmare Company, so too shall Kirby strike terror into the hearts of the invaders. He's a real darling, brave in this casino just to help us. At least there's one other person in the Resistance. I guess our quest is to find Meta Knight, who is presumably also a member of the Resistance. 